happening, traders? It's Mark here at Dino Trading, the world's number one resource on learning how to trend trade. Guys, I'm going to show you and educate you and teach you here in this video an amazing trend trading indicator that uses nothing more than volume as its primary algorithm. All right, and I can promise you that whether you trend trade futures or you trend trade stocks, or even if you trend trade Forex, this trend trading indicator is going to potentially nail both sides. As you can quite clearly see here, it's going to nail a trend to the upside and it will just as easily nail a trend to the downside. And guys, what I'm also gonna do is use a different chart, a different symbol, and I'm going to try to also educate you on trend trading indicators versus staying out of chop. All right, I got a really cool technique here, especially for those of all of you guys that already have this volume trend trading indicator on your computer. You're not going to want to miss this video. Okay, so stay tuned, and I'm going to show you exactly how to avoid chop and participate in the majority of the trend. But for now, folks, let's just go back to the starting point. Let's take things nice and slow, especially for those of you that are not in the know. <laughs> okay, what you see on the screen right now is a typical chart with the trend trading volume based indicator layered on top of it. All right, folks, all this trend trading indicator does is it colors the price action section or segment of the chart green whenever there is a bullish trend taking place and you guessed it it will color the band red whenever it senses that a bearish trend is underway does that make sense okay i hope it does because I, I don't think I can uh, dumb it down any further than I already just did. All right, folks, this is simply green and red. Gone are the days where you layer on hundreds and hundreds of confusing, cluttered, nonsense indicators on your charts. Those days are gone. Any professional trader will tell you that volume is a mission critical piece of the puzzle when it comes to applying a very good trend trading indicator. In fact, I, I would almost say that volume is pretty much all you need. Don't let the naysayers and the disbelievers out there tell you otherwise, all right? Listen, what I have found is that whenever there's a really interesting and kind of cool trend trading indicator out there, look, man, there's a lot of guys that are gonna try to dump on it, right? And, and at the end of the day, you have to go with your gut, right? In other words, you have to decide for yourself, does anybody's, not just mine, but does anybody's trading indicator or trading strategy, number one, does it make sense to you? Whether or not you agree or disagree, does it make sense to you, right? And number two, is it better than what you're currently doing? And I know a lot of you are currently doing this. You're layering on your... Japanese candlestick indicators and your cluttered nonsense garbage BS charts. I mean, this is the truth, man. You know, you can you can dump on this all you want. The truth is that 95% of traders out there are utilizing this crap, this complete garbage, and they wonder why they can't make any money trading, right? Whereas professional traders have something unique, something simple, but also something extremely powerful, right? This is a strategy that I think you could explain to a six-year-old. And again, folks, it uses nothing more than green bands and red bands while extracting volume as the primary filter, okay? So let me talk to you about what a beautiful trend day looks like, which is certainly what we had today. By the way, guys, this is the Russell 2000. For those of you guys that are following along on the E-mini futures as well as stocks, you, in my opinion, simply cannot go wrong with the Russell. I believe they even have a Forex version for all you Forex traders out there. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try to investigate and tell you what the symbol is if they do have a Russell 2000 Forex version, but I can promise you the E-mini futures version and the stocks version is just on fire. All right. So a couple different ways to play it. I'm going to talk to you guys more about the conservative way because I feel like a lot of you guys 
are somewhat risk averse and there's nothing wrong with that I get it nobody likes to lose money trading but let me tell you what an interesting setup might look like all right so let's try to zoom in on this chart and I'm going to show you the anatomy of what happens especially if you're a conservative type of trader or what I like to call a risk averse type of trader all right how do you take a trade how do you take an entry so when the vol turns green guys all right your immediate reaction if you are a risk averse trader is to do nothing okay absolutely nothing instead what you want to do is continue to wait for one of these a green reversal bar and you can call it anything you want I like to call it a green reversal bar it just makes sense to me it's the first green bar after a string of red right and now this becomes your qualifier makes sense so whenever you see the very first green reversal bar this might actually be your clue that a low risk trade is on your plate right now makes sense so what you could do is once this bar closes and confirms itself what you could do is go long on the open of the next bar you could place your stop one tick below that signal bar and that's all she wrote folks this was 200 ticks straight up you could have cashed out anywhere along the way I guess I mean I, I kind of like to look for at least 200 ticks a day with respect to what markets that I want to watch but I certainly encourage you know all you guys out there to just figure out what is an appropriate daily profit target on a daily basis right could be 200 ticks could be 500 ticks could be 50 ticks it's very discretionary but the only point I'm trying to make is look at how this trend trading indicator does a fabulous job of getting the trend correct right which is very unlikely for you to identify on this type of chart now let me talk to you about something else you might find fascinating everybody loves to catch a trend right when you catch a trend you're basically laughing all the way to the bank but what happens when the market chops around or what happens when the market that you fall in love with or your favorite symbol all right and by the way what you're looking at here is the S&P 500 for all you e-mini futures symbol is ES for all you stock traders the symbol is SPY and for all you Forex traders the symbol is at SP 500 okay beauty about the S&P 500 is you can trade it on any asset class futures Forex stocks all good but my problem with the S&P 500 has always been it's kind of a sluggish market all right so check this out when I identify that the market that I'm looking at or the market that I want to trade is somewhat of a sluggish market here is the first thing I like to do okay what I like to do is flip to a smaller time frame okay this is the same symbol the same chart the same day the same session the same everything the only difference is I flipped it to a smaller time frame for example all you guys that love your Japanese candlesticks right it's as if you are one day looking at a five minute chart and you find that to be a little bit too sluggish so the next day you flip it down to a one minute chart right that's called flipping it down to a smaller time frame guys there's a lot of advantages to doing so and let me prove that to you first let me just go ahead and label this okay so this is the S&P 500 and let's just quickly glance again at the larger time frame all right so again this is the S&P 500 once again I've got the volume indicator loaded on top of it on the larger let's go ahead and write this down here so we don't get confused larger time frame all right pretend this is a five minute chart and pretend this is a one minute chart makes sense now look at look at today's action all right I mean the volume did a good job the trend trading indicator using volume did a phenomenal job uh, nailed a nice bullish turn right here ran for a couple of bars nailed a nice bearish turn right here this also ran for a couple of bars but when you zoom out and analyze the day there's no doubt it was very choppy right went up down kind of a sideways market but 
if you look at the same symbol while flipping it to a smaller time frame, folks, look at this. Look at how, quote unquote, trending this market now becomes. And all you've done was flip it to a smaller time frame, right? I've got the same symbol, the same everything. I've got the volume trend trading indicator loaded on top of it. And look at how the vol nailed a sweet short trade right at the start. Guys, this is what trend trading is all about, okay? It's really about using your own intelligence, your own logic to put together what you believe is a consistent, profitable, and simple take on using any kind of trend trading indicator as part of your technical analysis in the market. And guys, I'm telling you, when you do that, especially when you do it properly and you back test it, your technical analysis is going to skyrocket. Guys, that'll do it for this video. If you'd like to get your hands on this powerful volume indicator, then get in touch, call, text, email, whatever's convenient, and I'd be happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo, really show you how this volume indicator is going to supercharge your trading. Guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next trade.